It's a scene that police and community members are calling tragic. A school bus surrounded by crime scene tape, police and ambulances on Westport Road. Not far away, the body of a child. It's incredibly sad and incredibly surprising. You hate to hear something like that happening to somebody so young. Dennis O'Neill lives in the apartments right where the accident happened. The bus was full of JCPS students and several adults, according to interim superintendent Marty Polio. Reports from adults on the bus, a student um, uh, exited the bus while it was moving, uh, which caused this to occur. Police say the student somehow got off the bus and was killed, likely run over. Investigators say no other vehicles were involved. We're just very sorry for the family of uh, the victim and all the children that uh, may have witnessed this incident. Police and school district officials say the bus driver is cooperating. Shaken up, obviously. It's, uh, it's traumatic. O'Neill and other neighbors say their hearts go out to everyone involved. He is currently, um, as you might imagine, also receiving uh, crisis counseling, so we're very concerned about him. It's very, very sad. Uh, you know, I love living in this area. It's great. It's just really sad to see something like that happen in the place that you live. JCPS officials are not telling us much about the victim or the students who were on that school bus. All they're saying is they were being taken to a state-run facility. The coroner will identify that victim, then we'll, we, we will release that name. LMPD's traffic unit is investigating and no charges are expected. Reporting live along Westport Road, I'm Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Thank you, Carolyn. The student killed lived at a Uspiritus facility which serves abused and neglected kids. They released a statement today which reads in part, the Uspiritus family is obviously devastated the news that one of our children was involved in such a tragic accident. We asked the community to pray for us.